Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we are in Swakop Munt on the east coast of Namibia and we are visiting Altebrikke Resort. Altebrikke is situated on the outskirts of Swakop Munt as you enter from Walfers by side. Altebrikke is located conveniently within walking distance of Swakop Munt CBD. At the main gate you will enter through a boom that is manned 24-7 by a security guard. Thereafter you will check in at the reception area. There are various forms of accommodation ranging from chalets to campsites. At the reception area you can do your laundry or you can visit the restaurant and there's even a conference center. Alta Brica truly has a real holiday resort feel to it. The campsites are all pretty standard. They all have grass covering next to your private ablutions building that, is, that also has your fireplace on it. Some of the campsites are next to each other as you see here and in that case you will share the same grass area between two private ablution buildings. Not all campsites have trees around them so some of them don't have as much shade as the other so it is wise to pack in a gazebo or a awning just in case. The layout and facilities on the campsite itself are all the same. Other campsites are corner campsites which offers you a bit more privacy. Each campsite has a built-in braai and a work area with a sink and a light. There is also three-point electrical outlets located on every campsite and there is Wi-Fi throughout the campsite. Each campsite has its own private ablution facilities and they are neat, tidy and modern. The door is also lockable which ensures that you can store some of your belongings inside. The shower is nice and roomy and hot water is provided by electrical geyser. The ablution facilities also gets cleaned on a daily basis. Inside the ablution area you'll also find a safe where you can lock up some of your valuables to keep them safe. Swakop Moon truly is one of our favorite places to visit. There's so much to do in this great town. You can walk around for hours and browse through the interesting shops or as we usually do end up in some great restaurants. It's always refreshing to take a walk next to the ocean and maybe even take a walk out onto the jetty and on a clear day you can really see some beautiful sights from there. Swakopmund also offers some great fishing spots. The Rosmund Golf Club is also a great golf course to go play. It's 18 holes and really gives you a great feeling of golfing in the desert. And of course one of Swakop's most unique and beautiful attractions is the desert. The desert right next to the ocean. It almost feels like the waves crashes onto the dunes. There are various ways of exploring the desert. If you're brave enough you can do it on foot. Just make sure you take enough water with you and supplies and that you don't get lost. You can do it in a 4x4, there's guys that offer trips through the dunes, but my personal favorite is to do it on a quad bike. The Desert Explorer Adventure Center is located just as you enter Swakopmund from Wolfers by side. They offer you camel rides and quad bike trips into the dunes. The trips are tailored to your level of skill and it truly is a great way of exploring the desert. As sun set we made our way back to the campsite and sat around our fire and prepared our feast for the evening. Mm -hmm. 
Alterbrücke is a great campsite if you are staying over in Swakopmund and it is really neat, tidy and well maintained. I would recommend anyone to stay over there. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button, subscribe to our channel to see more campsite review videos. Go check out our website for the full reviews on all the videos. And as always, happy camping until next time.